What's up, crew members? Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today, we're going to be making some oven-baked jerk chicken, y'all. Yes, I know that a lot of people don't consider it jerk chicken if it's in the oven, but I do, and I'm going to be eating it. And if you don't like it, then that's fine. But I don't have a wood-fired oven, a wood-fired grill from Jamaica. I don't. I don't have that. So I'm making this in the oven, y'all. I'm just going off, uh, starting by cleaning my chicken. I didn't have any lemon juice or lime, so I'm just using vinegar to clean, uh, scrub, and wash my chicken with, just as long as I have an acid to get all the quote unquote impurities out of there. So this is what I look, what the chicken looked like once it was cleaned dry and dried and placed into a bowl, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and just get my uh, marinade ready. So I am starting with a, a, a Walker's wood, and I'm gonna add some lime juice to that, as long as well as some peaches, y'all. I don't have any fresh peaches, um, but I'm gonna use these uh, peach hats and light syrup. I'm gonna put about, you know, uh, equivalent of two whole peaches in there, along with some of that syrup, and I'm gonna add that whole Walker's wood marinade, y'all. Uh, I would try to make my own, but you know, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So I used that whole jar and then I added probably about uh, two tablespoons of lime juice. Then I'm gonna go in with about uh, about two, three tablespoons of oil. That's just so this emulsifies and comes together really well. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on my blender and uh, go ahead and blend that up until it's really smooth. No, not many chunks in there because chunks tend to burn. So I just go ahead and get that to about this consistency. Then I'm moving on, I'm moving on. Okay, got my chicken here and I'm just gonna season it up a little bit. I'm using uh, just some uh, Mrs. Dash onion and herb seasoning. Then I'm gonna go in with some Tony's uh, more spice, you know, because I like a little bit of a uh, kick as well as the spice is gonna be in this marinade already. Then I'm just gonna coat this really well. And I'm just gonna go in and get to corsage. I'm gonna corsage it with my hands and till it's all through and through. Then I'm just gonna peel back the skin on the thighs and the legs and just make sure it gets under there really well. I'm gonna marinate this in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. And then after that, you know, I'm gonna come back the next day and then boom. So y'all, I did, my camera did go off when I was thought I was recording myself placing this in the dish, but basically what I did was make sure the skin was folded over and I put the skin, uh, put the chicken in skin side down. I'm gonna put it in the oven on 400 degrees for 35 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and flip it. So this is my cabbage that I uh, chopped up and I'm gonna chop up some red bell pepper. I didn't have any onion um, because my onion that I had was bad and then I got my carrots that I grated and this is what the chicken looks like once it's been in the oven for 35 minutes on 400 degrees. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna flip the chicken over, you know, so that we can get to finishing it. Just going through and just flipping every piece. Doesn't look like much now, but trust me, it will. Then I'm gonna take the remaining marinade that I had in that bowl and I'm just gonna go through and just kind of put it on top <clears throat> like so. And then I, uh, in a little bit, once it's been in the oven a little while, I'm gonna add the remaining marinade that I didn't use from the jar uh, after I blended it. I add a little bit of brown sugar in that and then I'm gonna um, put it some more on top, but that's gonna be a little later on uh, in the cooking process. So I got my um, my pan here, I add a little bit of oil to it. Then I'm gonna go in with my cabbage, y'all. And after I get my cabbage in, I'm gonna put the rest of my veggies, my carrots, my red bell pepper, my green onion. Like I said, I didn't have any uh, regular onion, um, but I'm gonna add my green onion and my red bell peppers. I know this could be done a few different ways. Like I said, if this is not considered authentic, it's just not, you know, but I'm gonna eat it. I promise I am. Y'all gonna watch me. All right, so um, I'm gonna put that in there like that. And then I'm gonna come uh, with just a little bit of water because I want this to steam, not too much, but just a little bit. That's gonna steam and then eventually evaporate off. Uh, I don't want it to boil. So then I'm gonna come in with some uh, thyme sprigs, some butter, and I did place a, a, a scotch bonnet pepper in there. I just didn't see it. And this is what my chicken looks like after uh, 35 more minutes. I'm gonna crank my oven all the way back up to 550 degrees. That's all the way up. I'm not gonna broil it because I want the heat to circulate, circulate around the whole, uh, all the pieces of chicken. And then um, 550 degrees for another 10 to 15 minutes. And that's gonna kind of like oven fry. This is my cabbage once it was done steaming. I put my seasoners of choice. Y'all do what y'all wanna do. And um, I'm just gonna uh, toss it around till I feel like it's all incorporated. And once I got it to where I want it, 
which is, you know, about right here. Everything's looking good and incorporated. I put the lid back on, took it off the heat, and sat it to the side. This is what it's going to look like once it's uh, been uh, cooking for another 15 minutes on 550. I took it out of the oven, like so, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then I took my knife and I'm going to go through just like the restaurants do and just chop up uh, my chicken thighs and my chicken legs. You know, just break it up. It ain't got to be in no special position. Just uh, right there, you know what I'm saying? Just cut it however you want to. Thighs and legs. Just like so. Don't that look good, y'all? I, I know this is done in the oven and I know this is done, in, you know, in my house. I ain't no jerk chicken maker. And it might be a whole lot more to go on the authentic recipes, but this look good to me. You know. I'm proud of it. I, I surely am. And uh, y'all, this is what uh, the end result is. I got my cabbage and I got my jerk chicken, y'all. This is absolutely delicious. Like I said, not 100% authentic, but would you eat this? Let me know in the comments. Put put a blue heart if you would eat this. All right, y'all, we're going to see you in the mukbang. What's in a name? A name. What you were called from the time you exited the womb. What the hell are you talking about? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny with hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag the kidding. CCTV. Hey y'all, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. Today guys, we're back with another move. Bon day, I'm telling what we eat today, girl. Y'all, then we got jerk chicken and cabbage. That's what we got, y'all. So, um, y'all saw me make it at the beginning if you didn't skip. Yes, this was made in the oven. No, my recipe wasn't probably as authentic as it could have been. Just gonna have to put those disclaimers out there because every time I make food that is not of my culture, we got a we got a battle in the comments. So <laughs> if this isn't to your liking, I don't give a damn. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank y'all for being here today. If this is your very first time on our channel, thank y'all for being here. We ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. How to subscribe? Make sure you turn on your post notifications. Make sure your notifications are set to all, so you'll be notified every single time the cannons drop some for that ass. And remember, remember to hit that like button, y'all. Remember. Hashtag grow baby grow. Hashtag the kids are on the road to 150,000 subscribers. If this is your first time on our channel, thank y'all for being here. We hope you enjoy. If you are returning, welcome back. We're glad you're back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pray. We're gonna get into food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, we ask to be nursed our bodies. Bless us all those fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Duh. Uh uh. Them fingers. <laughs> Y'all, I got water today. Every time we use these bowls, I don't know, I feel like a key. I think it's the cool. Damn it! You know. It never fills up. How much ice you put in there? I ain't done. You put that ice in there. <laughs> Come on, it never fills up. It don't. I usually put my whole bottle in there. And the, first, the one time I don't get and scared. And that's the 20 ounce. The one time I don't get scared about it. <laughs> you know, usually I'll be like, wait a minute. That is the 20 ounce <laughs> bottle of water. Yeah, but I put it one of them in there too. It's a pool up here. Anyway. You need to use a pool. All right, y'all. I just left that in there for decoration. It, it can go. All right, you want to your bow? Yeah. Don't you give you me that. You want that uh -uh. Don't you put that in there. <laughs> you sure you don't want that pen? I've been telling him this whole time, don't you put that scotch bonnet. I've been looking at it before I get the uh -uh. eating. Your mouth will be on fire. Thank you. Yeah, because you always. You right. I saw somebody come and talk about, dang, you too old not to like this. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's that cabbage. That's what it's looking like. Ooh. I 
dip is good. I like it. <laughs> No, no. Mm -mm. Oh. It's bad. Mm-hmm. It's crazy as I was a kid. I hated cabbage so bad. Really? I hated it. It just seemed like old people food and I didn't want it. Not old people food. I used to watch Willy Wonka and Chocolate Fatty. And they talking about, do you remember who? Tired of cabbage water. Cause what is that? I guess it was just the broth off of when they like boiled the cabbage in. Mm -hmm. So they pretty much just using that to, mm -hmm. to, cabbage to stretch it. And then they probably eat the cabbage last. But, I don't know. It's chicken time. It is. <laughs> Did somebody tell me if that new Wonka is worth watching? It's on HBO. And every time I started, I cut it off. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Yo, this is uh, jerk chicken. I, had, mm -hmm. I mean, of course it's jerk chicken. I had uh, cut it up <laughs> like the restaurants do it. You know, they be cutting mm -hmm. legs and everything. They just slice it at the bone wherever, wherever the knife is. <laughs> Look at that, though. Mm. Let's see. Delicious. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, dang yeah, this automatic was in it. Yeah, it must be. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean now. Mm. I don't think my mama could take this little spice. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As far as that goes, this has its own level of spice. And while it's not like the spiciest thing in the world, like I feel the heat. You know, I feel it on my tongue. It don't make me like sweat or nothing. But if you want a little spice on your palate, I'm wondering like, what the hot spice you do because but I don't want to find out. <laughs> I know somebody who don't like spice. Would be perturbed by this. Mm -hmm. That'd be like. Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today we're talking about new age old school names so this lady said she was talking to her daughter she's a millennial the mom is about you know like old names like we're used to like barbara ann and you know yeah spitty jane <laughs> stuff like that and so her name is amber and her daughter told her that that is a old person name oh really yes she said amber amanda all of those are now considered old people names. So I'm going to go through some of these names. Well, I'm confused though because the reason I say that is, you know, the reason, and this, is, and I'm not <laughs> trying to be offensive, but what are white people naming their children now? The same stuff. But those are typical names. Amber, Ashley, Amanda. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I guess you maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Willow. I don't know. <laughs> Asher. Shut up. Wyatt. Though. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go through these names and we're going to see if they, if we feel like they're new, you know, new yeah. old people names. Aaron. Like E R I N. I wouldn't think so. Mm mm. I don't think so. Mm mm. Anthony. <laughs> That's your daddy name. Yeah. I mean, it may be considered. I haven't heard uh, any newborns lately named Anthony. No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I guess unless they named after they daddy, huh? Mm -hmm, like me, but <laughs> I was hearing the Hispanic version. Mm -hmm. My dad's name is Anthony. But I am Antonio. Mm -hmm. Um, James. Yes, James gives a little, a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. I'm a little upset about this next one. Dang yeah. hell. <laughs> I don't think it's old, but of course I'm going to say that. Right. No. Shut up. <laughs> it don't sound old to me, but... Mm -mm. That's also a name I don't really hear too many people naming their child now either. Mm -hmm. I should have drank water. Because this fresco is just too crispy with this honest. spice. Be honest. A lot of these names we sound like black or white people. We sound like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like where are they getting them from? Mm -hmm. Alantis. Mm -mm. <laughs> Taking two people' names and putting it together. And, but it's just the 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 sound of it. It's like almost like Cree. I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> It's like not free. Uh, um, Whitney. Mm. Yeah. Whitney can be the other one. Shut up. I don't know why that first thigh I had seemed so spicy to me. I told you it don't really. Cause it's a leg, ain't it? It don't really grow. You know what I'm saying? Once it get on your tongue, you be like, mmm, it's, it's spice. Mm -hmm. But don't really go nowhere. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jeremy. I think so. You don't think so? It's hard. <coughs> yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? These are all names that are common to people. All right. Mm hmm. But, maybe. But I'm really like, I really want to know what people are naming their kids nowadays. I don't know. <laughs> um, if we had a child, <laughs> why are you laughing? What's the name you say? I can't remember which girl name I said, and I'm kind of mad about that because it was pretty. You really was like on it, but. Yeah, Must not like it that much. You can't remember. Shut up. <laughs> but whatever boy name he picked, I do not like. What Max? And maybe because of my association with Max. See, I remember mine. You don't remember yours. I don't. We have a boy. I just want to name him after him. I like his name. <laughs> hmm. Shut sure, AJ. What? <laughs> he just don't want to say Junior Junior. That's all that is. <laughs> but when I think of Max, I think it's because I knew two dogs named that. And then I told you about that show Max and Ruby and they was rabbits. But it's uh that's about the whole name. What was the whole name? Maximilian. That's no. 
I don't like it. It's a mouthful for one. It ain't gotta be said. <laughs> But once, it, once it's announced, I not remember that girl name. But once it's announced, what would y'all gotta remember? This chicken's so good. <laughs> so tender. Mm -hmm. Tender. Mm -mm. But think about it. I ain't gotta be said that much, but once it's announced, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Maximilian A. I ain't gonna stand up. That's greatness. From a young age. Mm mm. <laughs> From a tender year. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Junior Junior. <laughs> junior. It's Catherine to send it over. AJ. And then is you gonna go shorten it by the same cat. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine is yeah. Catherine. I think that's all for us. Like I mean Yeah, I think that any Catherine I know is probably like my mom's age. Mm. I don't think I well I did have a girl in my class when I was in middle school named Catherine, so. I used to work with a girl named Catherine. I don't think she was that much older than me. But, uh, it is, it is, it is approaching, yeah. Mm hmm I can see it being a name that's, like, kind of dying out and not being, uh, used as often. Yes. Yeah. Timothy. Yeah. Tiny Tim. I know a couple of Tim. Why did you got to say time Tim? Mm. My cousin Tim. His name is... I'm about to have my... <laughs> I know a couple of Tim. Mm -hmm. The Tim I went with to school. Call him Tim Tim. Not Tim Tim. Yep. Yeah. Um, Melissa. Hmm. I can see it getting older. Yeah. I don't think I... Y'all yeah, imagine though. Like, some of these names that are like really uh, unconventional and like new age, like when they get old. That's what I think about with my first name. A 80 year old named Makisha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh. But really like, <laughs> really, especially all the, uh, I mean, quote unquote, we just say it, get our names, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. The ones that got 15 syllables in it. I mean, it is what it is. We all, you know, if you got to get our name, it's okay. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? We all uh, know it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because ain't no way, I mean, Quantavia ain't never been in the, uh, ain't never been in the name book. But, I mean, if that's your, if that's your name, then that's your, that's your name. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We know your mama look ratchet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. I say that because I think I... I'm pretty sure I know a Quantavia. I know a Shantavia. Yeah, and I know uh, a lot of that. A okay. lot, of, uh, a lot of them avias that that multiply. But you know, it's funny, <coughs> and I could be very, very wrong. I feel like our parents kind of started that because let's just sit here and think about our aunts and mamas' yeah, they daddy's names. They're but very. It, it was like... really our generation of parents that did that. <laughs> It was our generation. Cause family. I think I then think about all my cousins my age, and most of them have very um, unique names like me. <laughs> wow. Very unique. I don't think there's nothing wrong with those names, though. I mean, mm -hmm. because you know, at the end of the day, whatever separates us, we black. You know what I'm saying? Right. So whether you have a name that might typically be considered ghetto or whatever you want to call it. I still was like, if that was me, I'd embrace it. That's my name. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but anyway, it's just crazy to think like when you get older, all these names that you would hear, like, especially like that or anything like, you know, just any Sade or, um, well, mm -hmm. think about something that's just a name that it don't even got to be long. It's just wow. something that you don't. That wasn't considered like a typical name mm -hmm. back when. And just think about somebody, grandma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I told you. I'll be over here. 80. They gonna see my name on that paper. Keisha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, baby, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when the well I guess some people probably still do the two name thing 
for instance, Freddie Jean. Uh, now, I ain't sure they doing that, but. Who's doing that? Huh? Who was doing that? I don't know. Somebody might little house on the prairies. Yeah. But. Some country probably. Some country yeah, people. they. I think some of them probably mm -hmm. still do. This is when the girls are getting hit. <coughs> Martha Ann. Mm hmm. Martha Ann. <laughs> Darla. Uh, Not Darla. But you know, it's the ones I feel sorry <laughs> for anybody who named. They got the double name with Joe. Betty, Betty Joe. <laughs> hey, my cousin named Betty Joe. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Jo. Billie Jean. Mm. There is a woman name, ain't it? Billie. Billie Holiday. Mm -hmm. Well, answer my own question. <laughs> Ooh, it was good. delicious. Was it good? Yeah. We don't got much chicken left. Mm. <gasps> no, I didn't cook. But so it's much. fine. We don't need to be wasting anyway. Right. <laughs> I was tearing them little broke pieces up in front. I was tearing them, them up. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, E. All right, y'all. So, uh, yeah, names. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, I'm gonna look and see what people naming their kids nowadays. Yeah. I know, right? I haven't really thought about that. I guess we're not really around many kids either. So, yeah, you I mean, you know, know. Even like my sister, she named my nephew after his dad, which he's young, so his name's Khalil. Mm -hmm. But that's like a common name, but, mm -hmm. you know, just, so, but I don't. And when I was growing up, I didn't know a Khalil when I was growing up. Well, even Poodle's name, Tage. Yeah. That's not. That's, that's not, not, but that's what I was saying. Right. Like, Alantis, uh, Cree. <laughs> not Alantis. Like, when I say, like, like, like I said, Cree, Tage, those are like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have a certain, I guess it's like a new type of sound that, yeah. I mean, a new way of, I don't know. And you get, I don't understand what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I can't really explain it. It's just that, I don't know if Which I mean, even um, Beyonce's daughter is not a any of her right. children. They don't have, right. you know. I guess I don't want to use the word normal because you know I feel like a name should be unique anyway. But like Blue, right. Ru um, Rummy, yes, uh, yeah, like <laughs> I don't know how to describe. Taste it like fits you said. right into that. Yeah, what is that? These are like newer type sound. It's just the sounds. Well, almost. I guess like Cree. She's older, not older, but Cree Summers. Yeah. Well, she probably like in her 40s, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well. But yeah, y'all put down in the comments what y'all named y'all child. What's in a name? A name. What do you are called from the time you exited the womb? A name. What the hell are you talking about? Kind of like something my ass do. It do, but I don't know. <laughs> Which one did do? I don't ever remember that. <laughs> I know why the cave bird sings on it. I don't know that. <laughs> All right. All right, jerk chicken. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like a video, uh, like the video, comment down below, let us know what you think and remember to share this video with everybody. Because sharing is caring, so care about us, care about us. Y'all, we love you in a minute and we're going to catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Bye-bye.